What's up guys, QG here, and in this video I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of my little gimmick that I've constructed together for Dan Sperry's self-popping balloon, or just the self-popping balloon effect that, um, if you're aware, it's where you can cause a balloon to uh, sort of make a lot, cause it to self-pop itself without any sort of needles or things like that. So, if... Um, this is not so much a tutorial, more just so a a, uh, a little advice or sort of idea sharing if, if you've ever done the self-popping balloon trick and you want to make it more uh, practical for walk around and to carry it in your pocket easier. So you should already know how to do the self-popping balloon effect. If you don't, I suggest uh, checking out Dan Sperry's lecture on on uh, Penguin Magic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Or just spend time on YouTube and learn how to do the self-popping balloon with the uh, secret, secret solution or secret stuff that I'm going to be saying. I'm not going to say the actual name because I'm kind of giving away secrets, but you get the idea. So, I'll give you a little backstory actually. Um, when I first learned the self-popping balloon effect by Dan Sperry, uh, he suggested to use one of those envelope sealers that has a little sponge at the end. And uh, from there you would just fill the tube up with, with, the, with the solution and then put the cap on with the, with the sponge. And from there, you would put it in your pocket I would you would use your finger and dab your finger onto the f the sponge to get it moist on your finger. From there, you would be able to pop the balloon and stuff. The problem I found though is that unless you had the the sponge directly pointing down so that the liquid would leak into the sponge, uh, you wouldn't get your finger moist enough to pop the balloon. And then even worse is that. If you keep it pointed down the whole time, if you're doing walk around or if you're doing a show, all the st all the solution and uh, the liquid would actually leak into my pants and my pocket. And in fact, it actually it's it's a chemical, so it actually would uh, damage. Uh, it would it actually burn my skin a little bit. In fact, I have a little bit of a scar here um, from the time that it was just so bad. It actually burned. A bit of my skin so that's that's how bad it was actually for for me and so it actually looked like you know that like I pissed myself or something like that and you had this this bad this you had this pretty like obvious smell that was kind of coming from it so that was really bad for me so then for a while I actually tried doing a I tried to improve the the sort of dispenser um, to carry this stuff on you when you're doing uh, magic and walk around. Uh, first, I actually tried using a eye drop bottle, one of those small uh, refillable eye drop bottles. So you could actually control how much you squirt or how much comes out on, and you can dab on your finger. So I got one of those refillable um, uh, eye drop bottles, filled it up with a solution, and so forth. And then I would just take the cap off, so like because it's like an airtight thing, or at least it's supposedly, even if I had it point downwards, it would just like drip a little bit, and then I could just dab again on my finger or squeeze a little bit onto my finger, so I could get enough solution to pop the balloon. But then I, my last time I I tried doing it in a show, I was kind of sitting down, and the eye drop bottle was pointing down again, so I wanted to have at least as minimal. Uh, manipulation in my pocket as possible because I want to be able to simply just reach in my pocket, get a little bit of solution on my finger, and then be able to go into the effect and pop the balloon without having to go like this all the time in my pocket to draw suspicion. So from there, when I but when I so when I what happened is when I did that uh, uh, when I was doing that show again same thing happened with the eye drop bottle. Too much liquid was just spilling out. It it looked like I pissed myself again, and it it burnt my my leg again. Thankfully, it didn't cause any skin damage again, like like the first time. Um, so I just like I, I applied some lotion and stuff to make it all better. So I mean that was a close one, but the first time that happened where I actually burned my skin, that was really bad. So 
I don't recommend um, the uh, the solution, the option of using the envelope sealer or an eye drop at all. Um, so, so whatever. When I, if you do learn how Danceberry does it, um, and he suggests the envelope sealer, don't. I wouldn't recommend it, at least from my experience. If you're like carrying it in your pocket and doing walk around. So, what is the solution to all this? So, now what I have here. This is a refillable um, sample uh, perfume bottle that I got from Amazon. It's This is, I believe, a five milliliter, just a small refillable perfume bottle that you can get. So you can actually screw this out, right? And whenever you run out of the, the fluid, you can refill it up and then you just close this back up. And what's nice is, well, uh, you can get rid of the little cap because you won't need it. But um, from there, you won't have to worry about any spillage. You can keep this upside down in your pocket. You won't have to worry about it spilling all over your, your in your pocket, your pants, or in your pops. In fact, this stuff actually it ruined when the few times that it spilled in my pocket, it ruined one of my magic props because there was paint on one of the. Um, one of the markers that I have and it, it eroded all the paint so now I can't really use that prop anymore which really sucks so that's that's the thing about this chemical and this fluid is that it will erode paint so if you have stuff that's like painted on in on your, like for your props be mind like this is like the best solution that I've come up with so far to help mitigate that so you won't be ruining your, your skin your pants and your your props and not making it look like you're pissing yourself all the time so now the thing about the spray bottle is that when you're feeling around for this in your pocket you're not there's not a very good indicator of where the nozzle is because it'll actually spin around and stuff so what you want to do or what I did is I got a very small zip ties okay I cut off I cut it to only about I took the end part, cut it to about, say like that's half an inch or something. I, so I leave a little bit sticking out. So this is going to be my little indicator for my index finger so I can feel for it. Okay. And I first, uh, I also took some, some electrical tape, black electrical tape. I first take, took this, taped it onto the, onto the, uh, I put it on the electrical tape, I leave a little bit sticking out on the same side of where the nozzle will be so it's aligned perfectly I dabbed a little bit of super glue on top of the actual top of the head of the actual push button I then put the um, tape on top with the little zip tie indicator and then I pressed it down to make sure it was nice and tight being careful not to like get any super glue on my fingers and you can do this, and you would do this before um, filling up the bottle with fluid, so you don't actually accidentally keep spraying yourself with uh, fluid and stuff. But once you get it on there and just uh, let it dry, now what's nice is that this is fairly firm onto the onto the spray bottle, and now you can actually control how much uh, you put on your finger and stuff. So what's great about this now. I don't have to worry about spillage. Even when I spray this in my pocket, it's not gonna. There's not gonna be so much that it ruins the stuff in my um, the, my other props in my pocket, and it doesn't cause a big leak. Doesn't. It's not gonna. It's not gonna a leak through my pants and stuff, and uh, it's not gonna burn my skin at all. You'll you'll have a little bit of mist, but that's okay. It's not gonna be as obvious. So. What happens now is, what's great about this is now once you have enough, um, once you've filled this up with some of your fluid, okay, you're going to put this in your pocket now. For me, I'm right handed, so the nozzle part is going to be this way in, in my pocket. So it's going to go here in my pocket with the nozzle this way, okay. And now what's great is that, so I already have a couple balloons blow, blown up here. so. Say I have them blow the balloon up or whatever, right? You can have them blow up the balloon to misdirect while you do this, or you can blow the balloon up yourself and then 
ask them to examine it, make sure it's normal, and you can, while they're doing that, you can feel around in your pocket for the, uh, the little zip tie nub, okay? And you can even just, while you're doing this, you get, you give them a marker to sign onto the, uh, well, you, first you can get them to even sign their name on the balloon, take the marker back, and then as you put the marker in your po back in your pocket with the same, in the same pocket, you can then feel around for the, for the, uh, zip tie nub. Now, where you're going to grab it, so when you go in your pocket, you're going to grab it like this. So with your thumb and your first finger, you're going to first feel around for the, the nub, okay? And you're going to place the bottom of the, of the uh, spray bottle against your pinky like this. So you're basically going to be pushing with your thumb against your pinky finger with the bottle to spray the, uh, the solution. So I'm going to show you here. You can see the mist that uh, comes out of the, uh, like that, okay? So when you do this, this is why you need the zip tie nub because you're going to spray this onto your index finger, okay? So you're going to feel around in your pocket for the nub, line it up, have your first finger touch that nub while this base is against your pinky finger. So once you feel for it, and I'm doing I'm doing this in my pocket so you don't see this, but and there's not going to be a cloud of mist. But I'll do it for once on the um, in in exposed view. So once you actually spray it on on your finger like this, now I don't know if you'll be able to see, able to see but I already got a nice good amount of uh, fluid onto my index finger now. And keep in mind, I'm never going to show this to the spectator like this. It's always going to be very casual, just like this. And this is all happening in the pocket as well. There's not going to be as, there's not going to be a lot of like, there's not going to be a cloud of mist or smell that you're going to sense. And even now, if I let a little bit, a little bit of time go by, it's still going to be enough to, um, to pop the balloon most times, as long as you're not burning too much time. But like, um, because if I do it more in the pocket, it's more... Uh, enclosed so it's not gonna it's not it's not gonna go all over the place as much as it did here so it evaporates pretty quickly so I guess again don't don't burn too much time just do a quick spray one spray is all you should really need okay so just do one quick spray and now you can come out and you see I got a little bit of my finger and you can do your presentation it's like yada yada and then go ahead and pop the balloon okay so now for if just a quick demo here um, so you have your balloon, right? You get them to hold the balloon, make sure it's it's real, right? And all that stuff. And while you do that, you go in your pocket. I feel around for the uh, for the uh, the tip, the the zip tie nub, or the zip tie uh, thing. So I'm gonna feel around. I'm gonna spray. Now I got a little bit on my finger. So now at this point. You can just do your pad or whatever. You can watch one of my videos. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see my performance of it. But now you can just take your finger and just touch the balloon. And it'll pop just like that. And that's with very little amount of, of fluid. I only did one spray and it was already still enough to pop the balloon. And I was even talking for a while. It was kind of evaporating pretty, pretty quickly there. But it was still just enough to get the balloon to pop. So... And that's the nice thing too, is that this stuff evaporates pretty quickly. Once you're done, you can just wipe your hands, show your hands are clean. And the best part is it gets rid of all of those issues that I mentioned with ruining your props, leaking, and getting it all over your pants and stuff. I'll do it one more time here, just with this last balloon I have. So again, misdirect, get them to check out the balloon, hold it like so, to do your patter or just direct attention away from just having your hand in your pocket. Even once, once you come out with your hand empty, it looks like you, you've you got nothing to hide. So I'm just gonna, again, in this position, with the thumb and the pinky and my index finger on the tab, I'm just gonna do a quick spray to patter, patter, patter. And so and then at the, whatever, however you go about doing it, take your finger, you're gonna touch the balloon and you pop the balloon just like that and you get rid of any sort of evidence and this is the best way that I've mitigated all of those issues I've had with the previous gimmicks of holding that, that um, solution and chemical in my pocket with it ruining my props, 
draining on me, burning my skin, making it look like I'm pissing myself. But um, yeah, overall, this is a great effect. And so far, I think this is a really good improved gimmick on how to carry this solution around to allow you to pop balloons without any of those issues of your pocket and your skin and all the props, all, the, all that stuff. So yeah, this is the this is the current uh, product. So if you have any questions about this, I'll leave a link to of where you can get these uh, refillable perfume bottles. And uh, you know, if if you've already do this trick or if you don't do this trick and you want to do it now, um, definitely check out a couple of the videos and links that I le I'll leave in the description. And other than that, hope you go have fun. Hope you have fun with this effect and. Uh, Close some minds. Thanks for watching, guys.